YouTube, what's the deal, man? It's your boy Goham. I'm back with another reaction. I got a call on deck. This is the fire in the booth part one. Yeah, fire in the booth. You know what I'm saying? They already know whenever the fire get put in that booth, ain't no extinguishing it. So I need him to do the same thing I heard everybody else do and straight kill this joint. Um, we're gonna get straight into it. Before we get started, though, I do need y'all to do three things for me. One, smack the like button so the channel can grow. Hit the sub button, then press the bell so you don't miss none of these joints whenever I post it I do all requests so let me know in the comments what else you want to see me get into and that's exactly what I'm gonna do let's get it I know you're gonna dig this oh yeah perfect yo 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 okay yo yo I like you you're like a tiger. Yes, I grew up on a door in a single parent family. Been through a little bit of tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, that ain't even half of my life. And that's the second time he said that. I forget how he said the first. A tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, <laughs> the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, given the knowledge of self. That is all we actually need to survive If you saw me, age 9, reading Malcolm Just fine, teachers still treated me Stupid students that couldn't speak English They put me in groups with The irony is, some of the first men to give me schooling You were called gangsters How you already explained that we know what the truth is They used to say, don't be like me Yeah, I got a name and dough on the street Nighttime comes, I can't sleep It's the part that rappers don't speak We don't hit the road cause we're thugs Don't come out the room, wanna sell drugs If we got the right guidance and love, would we fight He said, won't come out the room, wanting to sell drugs, motherfucker <laughs> real shit, real shit. We don't hit the road cause we're thugs Don't come out the room, wanna sell drugs If we got the right guidance and love Would we fight people just like us? How can I knock the hustle to get by? How do you think I ate as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong Just don't boast about it in songs But listen to my older bars I was just as confused as you probably are But you grow when you learn He said listen to my older bars I was just as confused as you probably are <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, okay this is real rap right here. Post about it in songs, but listen to my older bars. I was just as confused as you probably are, but you grow when you learn. Travel one, cut one too many man, you know, get caught. One too many man that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You learn if you study, so set out just to make them money. No cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another. So it's not to that us killing our brothers, dissing our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Comes back around, you regain your mind. You be ready for the energy I challenge in my rhyme. Remedy the pedigree, the jeopardy your mind when the world is. Left it is a crime. We can all fight with our brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes guns. We can all talk sh get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. If we understood economics with no money's nothing, think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth. Not the wealth itself, and don't get confused. Far from broke. All that you see me do, I own, but I won't hang what I make around my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came, but I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain. And businesses and property, far from starving. I eat quite properly, and I don't care. Just said it for the kids. You need to know you're not broke to listen. Don't know what I said from a liability they've never been shown nor told the difference you don't know the difference between an asset and a liability they never been told the difference bro he is preaching bro i'm 32 i just turned 32 back in december listen and to be honest until i turned 30 i had no idea what either one of the motherfuckers meant an asset or a liability, bro. As far as, uh, as as far as financial terms go, bro, I was completely lost in the sauce, bro, until I start opening up my mind and searching shit myself, reading books, bro, on God. So they don't change situation. Richest man in Britain is Asian. That's significant, not coincidence. Asian people build businesses, not by flossing, going out shopping, giving up the culture for everyone's profit. Who runs Bollywood? Indian people. Who runs our fish? So we shake our ass and dance as if racism just upped and vanished. But has it? No, it's right on course. You're beating so bad you're trained to ignore. Let me not just make sweeping statements. Give me a second, I'll explain it. For small amounts of drug possession, there's more black people in jail in America than there is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. You can say they're just locking up tugs. Imagine they're in prison every middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'd be your kids. Bigger than that, what is going on with this prison in America's private business? They get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait, also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labor, big corporations, they come out of jail when they can't get a job. So when we celebrate going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social con- That's still the problem. Niggas is glorifying the niggas that's in jail. Nigga, that is some slave shit, bro. Been there, done that, and over with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Over with. You got a number. You don't even call you by name, boy. You got a number. 
You are officially state property. Break going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your man? You can say that they're just black, but I like to deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America black towns, prospering centers of economics to education to make you proud. But some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups. Burn those towns to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood? It's only been 60 years since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool they were your baskets picnic baskets even gave kids the day off school go see a lynching have a picnic it's fun to watch the little monkeys die and people act a little dysfunctional you want to pretend that you don't know why if your color means you can be killed and you're powerless to get justice about it is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up feeling about it and that ain't excuses just dealing with the roots of abuses that make a reality where a generation of young men speak of ourselves as dirt casually that's america this britain something similar some different in this country the first enslaved with a working class what's changed worse jobs worse conditions most tax, look where you live and yet you go to the pub Friday night you will fight with a guy Don't know what for, won't fight with a guy Shoot in a tight who send your kids to die in a war They don't send the kids to the rich or the politician It's your kids, the poor British That they send to go and die in a foreign land For these wars that you don't understand Yeah they say you are British And that lovely patriotism they feed you But in reality you have more in common with immigrants Than with your leaders, I know Both sides of my family, black and white A fed ghetto mentality, reality in this system Poor people are dirt regardless of shade But with that said, let's not pretend that everything is the same when our grandparents came here to Britain If you had a criminal record you couldn't get in That ain't protecting for all of the stupid stupid abuses they were living Kicked in the teeth, stabbed in the streets Many times firebombed our houses Put feces through our letterbox And of course the cops did so much about it Daily, up to the 80s People spitting in my palm cause I was a goon baby But of course that has had no effect on why today we are crazy And none of this was for any good reason they were just dark and grieving to ease the guilt now for all of this treatment constant stereotypes are needed so if i celebrate how big the mother picks that i'm flipping clips that i'm sticking chicks that i'm hitting i'm playing my position but if i teach a kid to be a mathematician messing with the schism how they gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer our religion what do you think we got now in britain just like america private prison prison for profit that mean when your kids go jail people make money off it so keep environments that breed crime build more jails at the same time market badness to the kids in the rhymes long as rich kids ain't dying it's fine get them to the point where some are so lost they actually believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves Soft. It's because their soft was Malcolm soft, was Marley soft Tell me was Marcus Garvey soft, well was Muhammad Ali soft Nah, nah, I think not but they want us to think that the road is cool Being on is all we could do We don't control the whole cell production so who benefits from us moving the food Or thinking there's no way out of old life but Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside And Marcus Garvey organised more than 6 million people with no Facebook or Twitter Why is it something you can't eat? Ish. One of my own homeboys did a 10 straight in the boxing yard Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate Don't tell me that it's too hard Who trained you to believe you're inferior? Your son won't ever do in Nigeria Are the remains of an ancient moat dug 1,000 years ago 20 metres wide, 70 down Round the remains of an ancient town That's 400 square miles around 400 square miles around Please, please don't believe me It was a documentary on BBC But we ain't studying history Too busy watching MTV And MTV said, wear platinum Now everybody wanna go and wear platinum And MTV said, pop magnums Now everybody wanna go and pop magnum If MTV said, drink prune juice You will start hearing that in tune soon Hey, today you're warm up Kanye Is it now more important what I got to say? Oh, when I drive a Mercedes, by the way So everybody listen to what I got to say <laughs> Does that make you all happy? Ah, oh, but she's ish My head's still nappy Think for myself So some mad at me But on the mic can't knock one batters me All of this here's good for the rhymes Put us in the same place at the same time And it's clear to everybody I'm out of my mind Some of these guys are running out of the rhymes Clear to everybody that has got ears I'm the guy that they just might fear That they want to get near But they can't have a peer Oh dear, I'm hard licking you just like beer Front on the kid for another five years Come to my shows and some cry tears Mean that much to him It's a movement I don't speak for myself but a unit Black, white, man, woman Anyone who respects truth we put in Dudes are like no dinner we're just putting Yeah you're sweet but no substance pudding You can never ever be with a level on Our songs get played out there in Lebanon We speak for the people properly Not for the old fat guys in offices And the girls loving it Ain't fair You can't even be bothered to comb his hair Anyway that's enough kissing my own ass Back to the more important task of being so shower I got half the hood screaming knowledge is power And I ain't saying that'll change rap that, But I do know this for a fact Right now there's a you on your block with his hands on his face screwed up So he don't care don't give up That he won't let nobody call his bluff but the words go in Open your shackles once that's happened There is no going backwards You start to see what is really happening Who the enemy you should be attacking
finished. So read, read, read. Stuck on the block, read, read. Sitting in the box, read, read. Don't let them say what you can achieve. Because when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Because it is well understood that intelligent people will take their freedom. Because if we knew our power, we would understand we can't be held down. If we knew our power, we would not elevate not one of these clowns. If we knew our power, we wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies. If we knew our power, we would see what everybody sees that we're rich already. But never mind, MCs go run for your mummy. I'm hungry, I run for my tummy. That's enough. Back to the money. I'm off. Back to the study. Yeah, 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 <laughs> hey, yo. hey yo, my boy Charlie, he is the number one hype man, bro. On God, hey, listen, like you said, the knowledge is power. He said, he said, read, 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 read. I didn't get that. Could you try again, bro? I wasn't talking to you. The fuck? He said, read, 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 right? Because once you a slave. First thing they do is stop you from reading. Bro, that is facts. Bro, like that shit right there is, is literally, um, like to me, I want to sit down and have a conversation with him till this day. Like if I'd have heard that back then, when this come out, when this come out, uh, this came out in 2011. I was three years removed from, um, from college, bro, or from high school. I needed to hear this back then. Ooh, if I'd have heard this back then, I'd have been like, golly, like, no cap, bro. That shit went crazy. Um, but look, that's here nor there. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, about the joint of Bro Goham. Well, let me know also in the comments what other joints that he got, because I definitely need to get into some more shit from him. He was, that was, that right there was legendary to me. Like I said, to me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Before y'all get up out of here. Smack the thumbs up button for me if you want to see the channel grow. Then hit the sub button and the bell so you don't miss these joints whenever I post it. We're about to get up out of here. Go ham TV. Let's get it.